Hello, everyone. Welcome to the What We Need Spotlight interviews. TCI has been running this advocacy campaign since 2018. And the objective of this campaign is to challenge and correct the medical oppression against persons with psychosocial disabilities. The campaign starts in October uh, during the Mental Health Week, and we carry it forward till the end of December. The campaign gives an opportunity to TCI members uh, for presenting their work to the global audiences. And every year, we have set thematics for this campaign. And in this year's thematics, um, uh, it includes deinstitutionalization, community inclusion, access to justice, and lived experiences of persons with neurodiverse identities. We are conducting these interviews um, with our members and um, our founding members um, and networks in order to highlight the works they are engaged and 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 to put a spotlight on the on on, on their ongoing advocacy initiatives. Under this initiative today, um, we in, we in TCI will be going in a short interview with Ms. Kavita Nair, who is the uh, uh, founding member of TCI as well as uh, a board member of Papu Trust. Hello, Kavita. It is a pleasure to have you with us today, and we thank you for uh, giving us time for this uh, spotlight session. Kavita, I would like to start with the introduction. Can you give a give a brief brief introduction of yourself and introduce yourself? Tell us what you do. Uh, where do you live? Thank you so much for having me here, Ravakar, for uh, the spotlight interview. So I am Kavita Nair. I am a board member with the Bapu Trust for Research on Mind and Discourse. And uh, we are based out of Pune in India. We work in low-income communities of Pune city in uh, psychosocial disability. Okay. Thank you so much, Kavita. Um, so uh, I would like to ask you, Kavita, um, our, um, this interview is uh, themed around the deinstitutionalization theme. And uh, uh, like uh, I, I, my first question to you um, will be like, what have you been doing in your country to promote deinstitutionalization in your country or as well as in the region? Yeah, so uh, for us, uh, I think I will speak more from the Bapu Trust experience. Uh, we run a community-based uh, support program which focuses on promotion of inclusion of persons with psychosocial disability. In fact, it is uh, the largest population-based community mental health inclusion program in the global south. And uh, we have been working, doing this work in low-income communities for the past 22 years. The program is devoted to not only uh, establishing but bringing a CRPD compliant design and application model to promote uh, deinstitutionalization and also prevention of institutionalization. The program focuses heavily on uh, creating community-based support systems and responses to support uh, adults particularly who are at the risk of being institutionalized amongst the psychosocial disability constituency. We use uh, formal and non-formal psychosocial support systems. We uh, enable access to mainstream resources in partnership with community-based organizations so that persons with psychosocial disabilities who run the risk of being put in an institution, uh, they are able to continue with uh, uh, their community life in an uninterrupted way. Uh, we mobilize diverse community support services, including peer support, crisis support, group support, installing a community uh, justice system, uh, enable uh, supported decision making, create local circles of care around the person, enable access to mainstream services like housing, citizenship, social protection, uh, providing comprehensive health care, uh, and providing a range of wellness services so that uh, people with psychosocial disabilities, one, are not put into institutions. Secondly, especially during crisis, when the risk of being institutionalized is, uh, institutionalized is quite high, people are also prevented from being sent over there. So then we enable people to come out and then we stop people from going in. Uh, thank you so much, Kavita, for sharing this, um, the immense amount of work you guys are doing at the uh, in your country uh, to uh, prevent deinstitutionalize uh, to prevent institutionalization 
and uh, i think with these all of having all of these support systems in the community we can definitely stop institutionalization and as you may know that uh, recently there was uh, a launch of the institutionalization guidelines by the crpd committee how do you plan to use those guidelines in your work and advocacy in the future yeah i think i want to start by saying that we uh, welcome the di guidelines wholeheartedly and uh, in our context uh, we see a lot of people who are packed into different kinds of institutions and uh, this is up as the geographical locations in fact any system which exists even in the community uh, community spaces where uh, you know people with disabilities are not allowed to make their decisions they are uh, not allowed to act on their own terms or any system which segregates or marginalizes them for us that is an institution and it's not just a space which is uh, surrounded by walls it is that and it is also this we have seen that uh, there are these kinds of practices and attitudes uh, in families among service providers and stakeholder groups and as a part of our work and advocacy around deinstitutionalization and prevention of institutionalization especially uh, with respect to, to the di guidelines i think we would like to focus on two areas one is how if there are people in the institutions how can they come out of institutions so what kind of pathways and alternatives can be made available to them so that is uh, something that we want to focus on and advocate for uh, secondly how do we stop people from going back into institutions or put into in institutions and uh, a big part of our work and advocacy in this regard is also the creation of local community based support systems and services where we are integrating core psychosocial services into development programs so that there is a lot of focus on removing barriers to inclusion within any kind of a program which uh, which uh, is there in the development sector and cross disability sector thank you so much uh, kavita with this um, um, because it is a just i know deinstitutionalization is a huge topic but spotlight interviews is uh, we are conducting these spotlight interviews in a very short time of span with our members so um, we will be in touch with you um, uh, regarding the discussions uh, about deinstitutionalization of persons with psychosocial disabilities and with this i will stop the interview here and we will share the link uh, with you um, uh, of the interview for your dissemination within uh, your networks in in india thank you so much kavita thank you vakar thank you vakar and thank you tci